Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the steps which you need to take in order to prepare yourselves for MSc entrance exams. MSc stands for Master of Science which is a 2 years course. It is done after BSc which is a 3 years course and BSc stands for Bachelor of Science. First of all, be sure what you want to do after BSc as there are many other options as well like MCA, MBA or BA. These three courses are of two years duration. You can undertake any one of them or you can prepare yourselves for various competitive exams as well after BSc also. This BA or Bachelor of Education will help you to become eligible to be a teacher in school. This BA degree is also available in integrated form. Integrated form which is BSc BA. This is a four years duration course and it is only offered by RIEs, Regional Institute of Education. There are four RIEs in India, in every zone of India. I am a product of RIE Bhuvneshwar. After this four year BSc BA, a plain after BSc BA, a simple after BSc BA, you will be eligible to teach students till class 10. But if you qualify an entrance exam which is called as CTET or TET, Central Teacher Eligibility Test, this is a central entrance exam or any state level teacher eligibility test exam. So if you qualify any of these entrance exams after BSc BA either individually or BSc BA integrated course, then you will be eligible to teach students till class 12. So after proper research and analysis of your interest, if you want to undertake MSc, then follow these steps. First of all, you need to analyze in which subject your interest lies and in which subject you want to undertake MSc. Suppose you are a graduate, that is you have done BSc in Geology or Botany. Then you can do MSc in three classical subjects. Like either if you are a BSc, if you have done BSc in Geology, then you can do MSc in Geology or Life Science. Similarly, if you have done your BSc in Botany, then you can do your MSc in Botany or Life Science. Apart from these classical subjects, there are many other options as well, which is present on your screen. That is, MSc in Conservation Biology, MSc in Environmental Biology, MSc in Computational Biology, MSc in Biochemistry, MSc in Biotechnology, MSc in Virology. So there are many other options apart from these classical subjects. So after deciding the subject in which you want to undertake MSc, shortlist at least 10 universities, colleges or institutes where you want to do your MSc. These universities, colleges and institutes can be of national level or state level. Decide wherever your interest lies and where you want to go. We will talk about these in my next video. I will also talk about the job opportunities after MSc. After this, uh, this step, you need to make a timetable, proper timetable and you should be a little bit serious at least after 5th semester or at least after 2nd. After deciding the list of colleges and institutes where you want to go, you should see the syllabus, marking scheme as well as question pattern of MSc entrance exams which must be present in their websites. Then a small trick which had helped me a lot is make a list of the faculty members of the favorite college or institute where you want to go as well as see their specialization. All this information must be present in the website. See the specialization or core area or strength area of the faculty members of the respective colleges or institutes. Prepare those areas first because when question paper will be made by that college or institute, those faculty members will prepare the question papers. Of course, more questions will be asked from those or their favorite areas. This will help you a lot. Mostly in MSc entrance exams, objective questions are asked. Your BSc syllabus will be your best friend. Start paying attention or be little bit mindful after second year of your BSc. Follow your BSc syllabus. Start preparing notes. Start reading from good books like good foreign author books which I will mention at the end of this video. As well as start preparing some short notes or quick notes which you can see or which you can follow just before few days of your entrance exam. Don't go for whole BSc syllabus. Shortlist your strength areas. That is, 
you should focus on those topics only in which you are well versed or you have proper notes or you have proper concepts don't mug up any topic because you you will not get long answer type questions just understand the concepts and prepare yourselves to face mcqs after studying properly any one topic go for practice buy good books in which many mcqs are given and then practice those mcqs properly i will give you the name of the books which you need to read name of the books from where you will practice as well as the topics which you need to focus on now we will see the list of books from where you can read as well as practice for your exams don't get afraid and don't stress about the questions asked in exam only very basic and conceptual questions are asked so go for basics the list of books are pathfinder part 1 and part 2 harper biochemistry campbell biology dummies biology these books you can read from as well as now see the list of books from where you can practice objective geology op saxena as prakashan merit unique publishers by anita sehgal this book is really good then hrida series from khanna publishers then arihant post graduate entrance exam series you can buy any one or two books from this list and after completing any topic you should go for practice while practicing you can follow this trick let's suppose there is one mcq question and that question out of four options will have one correct option the other three would be wrong so start collecting information regarding the other three wrong options start preparing notes in this way you will end up collecting lots of information which will help you in your exam now let's see the list of the topics which you need to prepare properly for your exams let's start with cell biology in cell biology you should go through nucleus cell cycle cell cycle control then cancer biology from biotechnology you should cover what are the principles and processes of biotechnology that is cloning vectors types of cloning vectors restriction enzymes then applications of biotechnology in case of plants and animals then pcr blotting techniques and cdna library from uh, molecular biology you should cover transcription translation gene silencing RNA interference as well as replication from immunology you should cover antigen processing and presentation applications of immunobiology what are antibodies their type their structure as well as function from genetics you should cover mendelism post mendelism as well as population genetics especially hardy weinberg principle from physiology you should cover digestive system list of enzymes their function their source then endocrine system list of hormones their location as well as their function then from developmental biology you should cover metamorphosis regeneration stem cell fate map cleavage meaning and types from behavior biology you should read hamilton's rule and inclusive fitness reflex orientation learning that is patterns of behavior then from biochemistry you should read enzymes enzyme is very important then carbohydrate metabolism that is glycolysis krebs cycle oxidative phosphorylation enzymes involved in different pathways etc then from microbiology you should read structure and types of bacteria then structure of viruses then replication cycle of viruses and gram positive and gram negative bacteria in cell biology you can also add cell signaling cell junction and transport across cell membrane these things, these topics are very important along with these topics in genetics you should also add study of fossils isolation natural selection types shift in gene frequency with or without selection and kt extension chordates and chordates you should read general characters of all the phyla classification up to classes for arthropoda and echinodermata then life cycle and pathogenicity of fasciola hepatica and tenia solium and ascaris lumbricoides these import these are important things then you should read uh, arthropoda classification properly then vision in arthropoda metamorphosis then social life in bees and termites then water vascular system in asteroids 
and larval forms in echinodermata these are important topics students who are preparing for msc in botany all the topics which i have discussed so far except chordates and non chordates are same for botany and zoology for botany students two more topics are included that is physiology in plants and classification of plants physiology in plants you should read hormones their function and biosynthesis and for classification you should read important characteristics and classification of all the divisions of plant kingdom meditate and do deep breathing exercises this will help you a lot in your studies during bsc msc or any time in your life thank you for watching and all the best